everybody, today we're in Tainan in the south of Taiwan. For those of you that don't know, Tainan is considered a foodie hub in Taiwan. They have all sorts of very delicious little dishes that are typical for the region. And today we're at a restaurant and we're going to highlight one of those specialties for you. May be falling, but I am alive. It may be all right, so we're here at, I guess the restaurant's name is Every day there'll be fish, or we hope every day there'll be fish. It's called Tian Tian Yu Yu. But in Chinese, it can also translate to like having money. It's kind of a play on words, too. Um, so, yeah, we're at Tian Tian Yu Yu Fish Restaurant. And um, yeah, so this spread is very typical in Tainan. Um, they're really all about the milk fish here. That's like their uh, specialty in a way. Um, so the way they serve the milk fish is it's uh, it tends to be filleted and then like um, I'm not sure if it's pan fried, but it's like cooked, like pan roasted kind of style. Um, and they always include what they call the fish belly. Now I think it might be the swim bladder, but I'm not 100. percent I'll have to check. But that's what this this um, black part is. It's actually a very fatty organ so to speak but that's how they do it it doesn't have a lot of bones in it and it's really really cool um, so this restaurant too is a little on the nicer side I would say it's mid-range it's, it's not really your typical local joint right um, but there's a lot of restaurants in the city of Tainan that give you this kind of food it generally comes in a combination of the same few things in a set. You have like an in-season vegetable that's boiled with a little um, like pork sauce, I guess. Um, and then you have a uh, rice dish with more of that luro pork sauce. That's pretty common in Taiwan. Um, and then also this uh, pork floss, which is what we would call it in the US, I guess. Um, but it's, it's, it's like a dried and fried pork. So it's kind of fuzzy tasting in your mouth. It's an interesting textural thing. And then usually it'll also come with a soup. Um, and this soup in particular has fish meatballs inside of it, which is awesome. And they also went ahead and threw in um, slices of, it's called yo tiao, so it's like a breakfast donut kind of. Um, they're kind of long like, like that and they're fried up, um, but they're sliced up into this thing. I'm not a huge fan, so I usually will eat around those things, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the spread, and um, I usually like something sour, so this isn't always available, uh, but I like to get like a, like a lightly pickled kind of dish like this. Um, these are cucumbers and garlic. And then here as well, we have some more side dishes. Um, we have a... We might call it like a tea egg, um, and this is like a this, this is like a meatball of sorts, and this is uh, tofu basically. So all of this kind of works together, and then I usually go for a fermented bean paste with some uh, chili on the side as well to dip. Just tastes like a light, maybe like seafoody broth, but very very light. Um, the taste of the yo tail definitely comes through, um, and they put celery in there, which is pretty common, and white pepper as well. So around these parts, you'll find that flavor combination in soups to be pretty common. Yeah, but me personally, I I I always like a little soup as my first meal in the morning. So I'm pretty sure these are house made because oh, I'm pre pretty sure these are house made because over there they're actually filleting the fish and a nice little fish bowl and they go a little heavy on the sauce. <laughs> Milk fish in particular is not a very fishy fish, so it has a nice clean taste to it. So if you don't like seafood very much, you'll you'll still find this quite appealing. So 
like I said, you'll you'll find this kind of like luro combination with with rice all over Taiwan. But what makes this a little bit more typical Tainanese is that is this fish or is it pork? Fish. It's fish floss. Yeah. Okay. Correction. Um, this is actually also quite unique to Tainan. This this pork floss, as I was calling it, is actually made of fish. Um, so it's it's quite interesting, but. The flavor doesn't differ that much from actually the pork floss, but yeah, it it has like a almost like a sandy, fuzzy, dry mouth feel, um, and it usually pairs pretty well with this pork. So we'll go ahead and mix it together and give it a shot. Oh, no. Yeah, so this is like really deep, deeply rich. It has some soy in it. It's like a really fatty. It's like a fat forward flavor. It's like a fat forward luro. Whereas when we were in Taizong, their luro was more pork forward. Yeah, but it's great. They supply you with a couple of pickles as well. But I like to go in for this. <laughs> it it uh, really does help cut the richness and the fat. It's a good combination. This is awesome. <laughs>
It looks like I got them both. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and an interesting point about eating culture or table etiquette in Asia is that usually in the West, right, when things go in your mouth, they don't ever come out of your mouth again. You just eat the food, right? But in Asia, if, if you put a piece of meat in your mouth and there's a bone, it's not completely out of the question to kind of spit it out a little bit and grab it with your chopstick and put it aside. All in all, I really like this restaurant. Um, I have this food maybe once every couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, if you're in the Tainan area or in Taiwan in general, you should definitely seek this stuff out. I'm glad I was able to share this with you today. Anita's behind the camera, so you didn't see her today, but uh, she's here with me too. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video, all right?